My name is Kurt Holliman and I teach uh, basic drawing or foundation drawing in the foundation department and beginning illustration. I teach in the CE program as uh, I teach uh, beginning drawing perception skills Monday nights and on Saturdays I teach uh, drawing the urban landscape. Well, because I start in the foundation program, I um, primarily work them to uh, just one start by making marks and not spill out what they think they know, because usually I try to dispel that, so what they know gets in the way. So I, I, I teach from uh, the basics of just seeing and uh, observing, observation drawing. Even in illustration, I try to be more intuitive than anything else, because if you don't have it in you, it's going to be forced, or you'll cop some other style, and uh, it's just going to be stillified. So I teach by um, doing it myself and give them that chance to have the experience. So over time and time and time again, they pretty much come out excited to draw, and that's the biggest thrill. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I want to get everybody into that same excitement that I've got. And if I don't do it myself in my sketchbooks, I can't show it to them, then I, I should probably just leave. So I mean, I practice what I preach or what I teach as well. And then we, we practice because everything, I believe everything is that you're going to learn, you only learn from ex having had an experience. You have to do it. Teaching has, has, has definitely um, brought out new ideas. And I could pick up a number of students that I've like, wow, been inspired by, who just have slipped into some stuff naturally. But it's caused me to think about drawing um, things like, like patterns that I just don't get into. I'd never gotten into before, but because I've been teaching, I would have to say totally, exclusively because I've been teaching, I've slipped into doing abstract um, designs and drawings uh, a lot more. Outside of here, I'm a professional illustrator. Um, my work has a certain look to it. Uh, I specialize, as far as content goes, uh, in maps. I'm a map maker. Primarily, that's my main, you, that's the hook that I would hang my, my, um, my work, my, my method, my means on, uh, is map making. Informational graphics. But I do the artsy, interesting, juicy, uh, curious, oddball sort of maps. So I've, I've been illustrating uh, with my art rep uh, since 95 when I left uh, a job at Sandstrom Design in Portland. I've pretty much been doing art my whole career. I've never done another type of work. Um, it's always been my art. So teaching was a kind of a natural progression. But it's uh, ironic that I, I, I got swept into the urban, uh, urban landscape like I have. I mean, it's just a fact of life. I'm down in the urban la landscape uh, for the most part, but I was a climbing guide up on Mount Rainier. So I was in the natural world to start with uh, when I got out of high school. I was in the outdoor world for professionally for 10 years. And so the urban landscape had no, no part of my um, world. I guess you could say I just naturally fit into wherever I'm at. And I make hay out of uh, and uh, cool things out of whatever I've got. And I'm definitely a proponent of observational drawing and the value of, of, of that. So that's why I guess I'm a good teacher because that's kind of a core foundation thing that you have to teach somebody how to draw correctly. It's just the most authentic experience you can have. I mean, it's been done for eons. So, but you gotta see that shape and you gotta be able to look and see it for what it is.